Hello, my name is Kevin West and I'm a member of the Provost staff. I am responsible for faculty labor relations and the academic inclusion responsibilities within the Provost office. On behalf of Provost Shu, the entire Provost staff, and the Division of Academic Affairs, we wanted to welcome all new faculty to the University of Toledo. Today we're going to meet Don Cam, the university's Title IX officer, and have a brief discussion about Title IX and how it impacts you as a faculty member. So Don, I think there are six different issues that we want to be able to discuss today. I want to review those with you quickly, and then we can start going into questions. Is that okay? One, I think it's important that all of our faculty understand who the Title IX officer is. Two, we want to make sure that faculty members know their status as a responsible employee. Three, I want our faculty un to understand who the confidential reporters are. Four, know other university resources that they can get where they can get information um, about Title IX. Five, um, what can a faculty member do to create a safe and inclusive environment? And finally, uh, if a faculty member sees something, what should they do and how should they report? So Don, you're the officer, how do they contact you? Kevin, it's really easy to contact me. I'm available at title9 at utoledo.edu for email, or I can be reached anytime at 530-3152. Title IX is a law from 1972 that basically says that the university will not discriminate on the basis of gender in any educational program. It's looked at as any type of discrimination that involves gender identity, sexual orientation, biological gender. No matter how you look at the word sex, this law affects it and, it and it affects the university because it means that the federal government, if we violate, can cut off our federal funding. Don, is every faculty member a responsible employee? Well, a responsible employee Let's look at the meaning of it first. It means you have the authority to take action to prevent sexual violence or sexual harassment. Um, this authority could be whether you're campus police, whether you're the Title IX coordinator. It means you've been given the duty through policy that you're a responsible employee or that a student reasonable, reasonably believes you have the power to take some kind of action to help them. Are all faculty at the University of Toledo responsible employees? Absolutely. Every employee on this campus is a responsible employee, with about the exception of maybe five or six people on the entire campus. Those people are confidential reporters. Now you have the opportunity as a faculty member, when someone starts to talk to you about sexual harassment or sexual violence taking place, to stop them and say, wait, I need to tell you what my duties are. Because you do have certain duties as a responsible employee. You have to report to the Title IX coordinator what that person tells you. You're not a confidential resource or a confidential employee. That's limited to licensed social workers um, who are working in that capacity on campus, mental health counselors who are working in that capacity on campus. Does your status matter as a faculty member? So if I'm not teaching that student that term, but I'm the advisor to their student organization, am I no longer a responsible employee? Under federal law, they say when the university knows or should have known about an incident of, incidence of sexual harassment, that knows or should have known means that they told any person who is considered to have authority on campus, and faculty definitely has authority on campus. Don, who are the confidential reporters? The confidential reporters are really limited. We have people at the Counseling Center. We have the YWCA Hope Center. And for employees, we also have EAPs. There's one other confidential source, but it's limited. It's only after there's been an act of sexual violence like rape. And that's if a person who was raped were to go to the University of Toledo Medical Center and have a rape kit done. At that point, they're still confidential. We want the victim to be empowered to come to us. We don't want to have to have a third party intervene because that re-traumatizes the victim. They've been through enough. We want to take care of them. We want them to have a successful educational experience at UT. If a student brings a concern to a faculty member, and the faculty wants to honor 
the student's desire to remain confidential, what are things that the faculty member can do to honor that student's request? The fact is, once we know or should have known, we have an obligation to act. Now, what's great is faculty know these conversations are coming sometimes. A student will come to you and they'll start and they'll be talking around a subject for a while. If they're talking around a subject like sexual harassment or sexual violence, you have an opportunity right then and there to say, I don't know if this is where we're headed with this, but I want to, look, want to let you know. If we're gonna be talking about sexual harassment or sexual violence, I'm obligated to report this to the Title IX coordinator. But that doesn't mean that the faculty member would stop right there. The faculty member can, can say, here's the confidential resources for you. We want you to know where to reach out for assistance and where to provide the assistance for students on campus. Don, are there other places where faculty members can go to get information about other resources available to students? Absolutely. Our Title IX website has a lot of information available to you. And there's other organizations like It's On Us, Know Your Nine. These are great websites that anyone can go to and learn a little bit more about Title IX. So you're probably wondering, if a student comes to you, what happens next? What happens when I report it to Title IX? Well, that's where our Title IX staff steps in. We've been trained. We know Title IX forward, backward. We know how to investigate these cases appropriately. And we can make sure that the resources are available to a student to help them get through that semester. Under Title IX, the university has an obligation to help our students. There might be times where I'm gonna reach out to you as a faculty member and ask for your help in providing an accommodation or an interim measure to make sure that, that student is successful at the university. By accommodation or interim measure, what do you really mean by that? That could be something as simple as an extension on a paper. It could be double time for a test. It could be taking the test in an isolated environment. Occasionally, there might be times where we will have to ask if you would consider giving this person an incomplete for the semester, and then we'll put them in another semester of class to make up for that, to help that student out because of what they've gone through. Don, you've told the faculty what they should do as responsible employees. Are there things that they shouldn't do? Never promise confidentiality unless you're a confidential reporter. I would gather that everyone who's here today is not a confidential reporter. We're all responsible employees. You cannot deliver confidentiality. Don't promise it. Don't keep information to yourself if you're required to report it. The law states when we know or should have known. So once a student is, has spoken with you, we're on a 60-day clock to begin an investigation of a case through the Department of Education Office of Civil Rights. Don't blame or re-traumatize the victim in any way. It's important to know, the victim is the victim. They're not the cause of this. They've gone through trauma, they just are seeking assistance. Lastly, don't attempt to provide counseling. There are places that you can send them that have counseling, skilled counselors available. So make sure that they get information. Check out our Title IX website. Become familiar with it. Always remember, we're all here for the students. Thank you for having me here with you today, Kevin. I truly appreciate it. Welcome to the new faculty. We're glad you're here at the university. Don, I want to thank you so very much for all of that information. And on behalf of the Provost's Office, welcome to the University of Toledo.